And if you get a phone call, I would say before 7 a.m. in the morning, you know that there's a situation. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's a cruise. He's the director on a cruise. Making bits for you. He'll show you the whole world as he travels through. He's fun for the whole family. So tune in for the thrill. He's the funny guy from Scotland with the great big kill. Got the sea in his hands. Oh, watch out. Flying Scotsman. Morning. <laughs> Life is never easy. And working on a cruise ship is definitely one of those things where anything can happen at any point. Just like in normal life, when you get phone calls at, ran at certain points, you know before you pick up the call what's going to happen. You know, if it's good news or bad news. So when you're at home, if you get a phone call in the middle of the night, like 1, 2 a.m., you know it's not gonna be for good news. It's something, you know, bad or help and stuff. Cruise ships is the same, but also cruise ships is always early morning, meaning the start of a day. And if you get a phone call, I would say before 7 a.m. in the morning, you know that there's a situation. My phone went this morning just before 7 a.m. I think it was like 6.55. And I pick up and I'm like, oh, cause I don't, I don't get up this morning until 8 a.m. And then I get ready to start the day from 9.15. So the phone went and I was like, oh, here we go. And I went, it was the hotel director. And I said, hi there, Pavel, good morning. Yesterday we were in Curaçao, the lovely Curaçao. And um, basically um, we left Curaçao at 4.30 to head back to Miami. So we have a day at sea today, a day at sea tomorrow, and then back to Miami. So it takes about two and a half days to get back to where we're, we're going. Last night, in the middle of the evening, while everybody was tucked up in bed sleeping, we had a medical emergency with a guest on board who needed uh, immediate and urgent help, meaning life or death situation. And at that moment in time, what happened was Captain then had to turn the ship around and head back to the coastline of Curaçao. We then had a medical evacuation with a helicopter this morning. It must have been around about 5 a.m. This now means that this will impact our arrival in Miami coming up this Sunday. It now means that instead of arriving at 7 a.m., we probably won't be arriving until between 10 and 12, which is then going to be a knock-on effect for everything, which means guests are now going to be getting off the ship. We won't finish getting 6,000 guests off until at least 3 p.m. And then we have to get all the next 6,000 guests on board, which is then going to take till about 6, 7 p.m. at night. So it's gonna affect everything. It's a big knock-on effect because it's not just like pick up the announcement and go, right, we're gonna be late, that's it. It's a full knock-on effect. So it affects people who are coming to the ship as well. So we have to wait for communication from the office. This is part of what happens. And then once we get the go ahead, we then carry on with announcements. So of course, that means the moment that announcement's made, guest services will be absolutely ram jam packed because guests have early flights and it means that they're gonna to have to rearrange their flights. And I truly sympathize with guests when it comes to this. And you know, believe it or not folks, this affects people's experience. You know, they could be having the most amazing cruise and then all of a sudden this just puts an absolute dampener on the whole experience. And that, and that does upset me because I don't want people to be going away with bad feelings. I want them to have a great time. But you must understand as well, folks, I truly commend our captain because he just saved a life, you know? He just saved a life. We're in the middle of the ocean, the middle of the night, and he decides to turn back to get to the coastline so that the Coast Guard can pick up with a helicopter. And that's the life we saved. So for us being a little late, that's a life our captain saved and him and his team. So I wanna, I wanna thank our captain, Stefano Bonica, and his team for the amazing job they've done this morning. Now it just means everything else gets knocked on and this is part and parcel of life I see, you know? I, I sound like Sean Connery there. Life is she. Basically, it affects everything. And now it's my job as cruise director to try and take people's thoughts away from that and make them happy. Today, I'm also doing something. I'm doing what I call um, my pop-up concert, which is a feel-good concert for everybody in the piano bar to come and join me if they want to for like a pub sing-along. I do this now and again. And I thought today would be a perfect day today to do it. So I'm giving out little ducks as a little private invitation to come along. Let's get ready. 
to start the day. It's now 9.16 a.m. Time to make my morning announcement for the day and then get ready for all the fun that this lovely sea day has to offer. Uh, but once again, thank you to our captain. You are an amazing person. And let's get ready to start the day. Here we go. All right, morning, everybody. Calm before the storm. <laughs> It's, it's quite a funny thing to say when you're on a cruise ship, but as you're aware, we had the medical in the last video, the medical debark, which affects our time arriving into Miami this morning. Um, originally, we would arrive at 7 a.m., but it looks like we're going to get in at like 11.45, which means we should get started for about 12.30. Um, so it's going to be a long day. I'm just making this video now because it's quiet. It's 7.30 in the morning. We're here just to kind of let guests know to don't wait in this area. Um, it looks nice outside, as you can see. But yeah, it's a case of just getting ready for the calm. Um, hopefully the guests have been very understanding. They understand they've had to change some of their flights for the early flights, but we should be good. So let's see how we get on, fingers crossed. Whew. All right, this is the hardest part of the whole process because we can see Miami. And this is the part where our guests start to think, oh, we can see Miami. It's time to get off. Now, for anyone that doesn't know, the whole process when it comes to debarking and getting the gangway set up and getting clearance from our officials, it's a process. That's why sometimes when we start at 7 a.m. in the morning, we're actually docked by like 5.45 because it takes about an hour, an hour and 15 to get everything ready before we can start the operation. It's going to be exactly the same today. So as you can see, Miami is like so close, but it's going to be exactly the same. It's going to be the same meaning that we will probably dock in the next hour. So for like 10.30, 10.45. But then it's going to take another hour to hour and 15 to get ready. So meaning we hopefully are going to get started by 12. But this is the hardest part as a cruise director to tell the guests because they get excited. They're like, oh, we can go off. Not yet. So we're getting there. Let's see. I'll give you my next update very soon. Let's go. Hello, Miami. We're coming for ya. I know we're late, but we're nearly there. We are still flying. All right, so we're hitting that period of time where this is the, um, it's, it's not, it, it, you can feel the atmosphere, slightly get a little kind of anxious, because we're getting close. It happens, it's natural, it's a natural thing. I'm looking around, you probably saw there, there's a few people now waiting to go. Um, there's now people turning up who are not supposed to be here, but then they're, there's always like, hey, we were told to come here. And we're like, look, please. I've said about 50 times so far this morning, deck six is a no-go zone. So we are now sitting right now, time period and update is 10.06 a.m. We're getting close, we're very close. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we could get started for 11.30, but we've still got to turn the ship around, we've got to dock, it's still going to take some time, so. Here's go, let's see what happens. You can see the thrusters, so captain's literally turning the ship around. So we are nearly here. All right. It is now 10, 18 a.m. The ship is fully turned at this point. We're getting close to the pier, but still no way we're gonna be starting yet. But now this is where the guests start thinking we can get off. So now I have to go make another announcement. So come with me as we let the guests know. Good morning once again, Carnival Celebration family. This is Chris, your cruise director. Now, folks, as you probably see outside, we're now getting close to the pier, of course, and the lovely Miami, the pier, and uh, hopefully very soon we will be docking. But folks, once again, just to let you all know, I have to keep you all informed, that of course, once we dock, we still have about an hour to get everything set up from clearance from shoreside. Then of course, we got to set up the gangways and get everything ready whenever we pull alongside. And then of course, we can get started. Please do not come down to deck six 
on the forward or the midship at this time because of course we want to keep it clear so that our guests are ready when we're ready to go and to keep it nice and safe. And remember you can stay in your cabins till 12.30. The moment we do start this morning, folks, you will hear it, it'll be very clear. I will make an announcement. Our priority guests will be going first. Of course, our diamond and platinums will be called out. And then of course we move on with general clearance for those guests that have their own luggage. For those guests who check their luggage, that will be the next process after we get our guests off who have their luggage. Thank you so much for your patience this morning. As you can probably see, we're nearly pulling alongside the beautiful pier and dock of Miami. But of course, we still have another big process of getting everything ready and we will let you know the moment we're good to go. I have to make it really clear. Um, I don't like being so direct because I like to be fun, but I, I just have to make it clear because some people just don't listen and they come down. So hopefully I made it clear enough that don't come to the XX. And of course, even though you see Miami, we still got a little bit to go. So fingers crossed we can get started soon. Come on, let's go. So as you can see, we're nearly here. Dock, we're pulling alongside. About 10, 25. Fingers crossed, we can get ready to rock and roll. It's getting a little busier. And we are docked alongside. At this moment, we are docked. And hopefully, we can get started. All right. Woo! We have started. It is 11.37 a.m. Diamond and Platinum guests are off. We're now getting everybody coming down. It's going to get quite full on now, so the videos might be a little bit sparse now as I'm on the run, making announcements, running upstairs, um, checking the guests. The so I've got to listen up. So uh, I'm going to come back to you when we're nearly at the end, give you a time check and let you know how the whole experience has been. So let's go. Oh, I forgot. Turn you off. Bye. All right. Um, we are time check 1.03 p.m. Uh, we, we're moving along. We're on muster station F right now. Um, we're moving at a good pace. Um, it's getting a little congested, a little stressful, slightly. Uh, but this is part of the job. Chris, Chris to Matt. Making it happen like this now that we are um, quite busy right now. If they haven't come down yet, please stay. Um, we're going to like a bottleneck and we clear it away. If they come down now, they're just going to be standing along line. Copy that, Matt. Thank you. All right, so you've caught me right in the middle of a... To me, it's getting quite busy now, so I have to make an announcement to tell them to not come down. Here goes. Thank you so much for understanding. I'll be with you shortly. So there we go. So, yeah, it's just getting a little congested now. 6,100 guests. It was moving quite smooth and now all of a sudden everybody just wants to get off. I get it. We're getting close to a lot of people's flight times. So, yeah. So, I'll get back to you with another update. <laughs> I'm on edge. I'm on edge. Okay, let's go. All right. We're done. It's just coming up to two o'clock. We've got mostly everybody off. I've been up since seven. Well, 6.30. We just finished. Folks, it was a little anxious. <laughs> Not a lot of negative experiences though, which is really good. Just one or two and, you know, interactions where guests were upset, but we tried our best. And the thing we have to take into consideration as well as remembering what we said all the way back at the start. We helped try and save a life and save a life, you know, and, and the captain did that. And I don't know how he made up all that time to get us here. And now it's time to get ready to welcome the new guests on and hopefully they're not going to come on and be upset. It's my job to lift them up along with my amazing team. So I think it's now time for me to go for a nap and a sleep and then start all over again with another week. Folks, thank you for watching. <laughs> I love that you get to see everything. This is everything, the ins and outs. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Turn the notifications on. And yeah, thank you for being amazing. I'll see you soon, okay?
Bye, 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 bye. I need, I need to go. I need to go. Bye, bye, bye.